Hi, welcome to Cal National Inside Bikes. I'm Phil West and welcome to sunny and blustery Lanzarote for the launch of the new 2024 MG09 Yamaha. It's been 10 years since the original MG09 came out. It's a long time, it's an important bike. They've sold an awful lot of them. 100,000 in Europe alone, 200,000 worldwide. It's changed Yamaha with the all this dark side of Japan stuff. But on face value, there's not much different with this one. It's largely unchanged. They've changed the mountings for it. They've changed the gearbox slightly because to improve the quick shifter. The chassis is largely unchanged too. It sounds like there's not much different with it, but actually there is. Three things are, one, they've changed the riding position and the whole attitude of the bike has gone forward on its nose a bit more like a super naked, the bar's 30 millimeters lower, the pegs are 30 millimeter higher, they're both back a little bit. There's new styling to go with that, make it roomier to move around on the bike, a new tank so you can get it slimmer here, you can get uh, you move around on it easier. There are tweaks, the suspension, there's a new Brembo master cylinder for the brakes, there's all new TFT clocks, there's all new switches to go with, and these aren't the same ones as on the Tracer, the uh, 9GT Plus that came out last year, and the Nikon. These are upgrades on that. And there's new looks, obviously. So does that make a great deal of difference? Yes, it does. On board, you feel like you're much more connected to the front end, there's much more attitude to it, it's more like a super naked. You feel at like one with it much more quickly. I'm six foot three and didn't have any problem fitting on it at all. I feel at home with it straight away. The engine's obviously brilliant as usual, 117 brake, lots of pep, lots of grunt, lots of oral noise through these new oral acoustic vents that come out the top of the tank through the intake. The chassis is as fine handling as ever, but if anything, it's actually better because you're more in tune with the front end, the steering is a little bit more connected. Best of all for me, the new TFT Dash is a wonderful thing to behold. There's tons of features, there's four different themes, there's the usual three different modes and two customizable ones. The switch gear makes it very easy to use. It's nice and tactile and matte finished and fairly sturdy and all on this left-hand side with this new joystick. And on top of that, it's now got a sheen of sort of quality and refinement the old one never had. The MT-09 originally was sort of a, uh, a basic rough and ready fun bike with a great engine and a great price. It's been refined through four bikes since getting better every time and now for me it's a classy great fun affordable bike and just over 10 grand is 10,100 I think in the shops at the end of March it's an awful lot of bikes for money great fun looks good and icing on top what about this Ironman anyone <laughs> <laughs> 